We had a good day in the mailbox today. <clears throat> we got two packages here. It is Dove Men's Care Dry Spray. So that's for daddy. And then Dove Dry Spray for women. For so, mommy. And let's see. And these are all the rules and regulations and what blah, we're blah, supposed blah. to do. So are you excited, daddy? Oh, just deadly excited. <laughs> are you excited, mommy? Not quite of as course. exciting as I thought. Try nice something line. new. Forty-eight hour. You're in. Can't even say it. Forty-eight hour antiperspirant, non-irritant, cool essentials. Feels dry instantly with a quarter moisturizer to care for your underarm skin. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so that was box number one. In box number two, we have. Isn't that door number two? Uh, whichever. You can say whatever. Okay, you want. package number two. Dum, 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 dum. Whatever. Mm. This is a, the, the review. It is a product review for, this is by Cave Tools. It is a digital meat thermometer. And I usually use the Oneida one, but the first Oneida I picked up at a garage sale for 25 cents. It was a great deal. Worked forever. Now, while I was using that, my, my neighbor had the same one. She goes, I hate it. The probes keep going bad on it. Well, after five, six years, of course, it's only spent 25 cents. Five to six years, the probe finally died on it, and so I got a new one for Christmas last year. And once you know it, the probe was dead within three, four months. So, anyways, you guys know if you watch our vlog, I cannot live without my meat thermometer. So when they asked me to do a review on this, I was like, yes, 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 yes. So I'm super excited about doing this review. Let's see what's in the box. It is what they say. It's Cave Tools. Does that pop off? Digital thermometer. I think that pops off like this. And then this is the probe. Nice small tip so it can puncture meat easily. And then it has the nice storage can container. The, can I feel the uh, tip? But this just goes right in. Like that. Very cool. I can't wait to try this Does out. It come with batteries? So Does make sure it, you subscribe to our vlog so you can see this product review that will be coming work? in the next couple of weeks. Does, it, Does work? it work? Let's see. Yep. Yep. There it is. Can you, can you puncture? Um, no, I'm not going to puncture. It says, whoa, it says it's 19.8 Celsius in here, which means it's 67.8. Wonder yeah. how hot my hand is. It's probably pretty hot. 70, 70, we're up to 72. I don't know if I'm alive. There are 80, no, no, no. Your hands are colder than mine. Let's see, we're up to 81.1. Looks like I'm about 81 degrees. Hmm. Now for the real test. The real test is having Daddy hold it and see what his hands are. Nice, you have Okay, Daddy, your turn. It's at 73.4. I'm going to touch it and see what happens. It's dropping. <laughs> it's dropping faster. There you go, 70.9. Can you kidding? Really? Your hands are 70? I 70? think Daddy's a cold-blooded. Wow. I knew you were. That's pretty bad. I wonder if they hold it on room temperature. Oh, it looks like it's leveled off around 70.7. Can I just try it? Yeah, let's see. Oh, well, my other hand's hotter. 72, 73. Hey, you know what? Look at that. It changes temperatures pretty rapidly. Yes, it does. Look at that. I like that about it. Can I try? Can oh, I what can I say? Cold hands but warm heart. Yes. Aww. We're on our way to the post office, and then Art has to stop at an antique center to look at a phonograph, right? Yes, phonograph. Um, yes. Yeah, you actually saw him go there a couple weeks ago because he had to re he had to repair um, the bell for a phonograph, and I don't know, he's got to do some measurements on the actual phonograph, not the bell portion. So we all piled in the car. Here we all are. Here's the bell riding in the front seat with me. And I still need to clean it up a little. Good morning, it's Saturday morning and it is raining, snowing, icing, all that kind of yucky jazz out there. On my agenda, I wanna list some of that Mary Kay that I got and I have a big tote here. This is what I got at the um, from that lady when we went to King Arthur. And I wanna get some of this stuff listed and being able to get it sold you can see i've got lots of cool stuff in here and the one thing i asked him if he could figure out 
and see if we need anything are these. These are our lights that we want to put up in the kitchen so you guys have better lighting and we've just been we got it before Christmas and it's just been so crazy and chaotic here. We haven't had time to do it. Janelle is finally getting out her Mary Kay stuff. I think she's gonna start eBaying it today. What do you have in here? Well, right at the moment, these are the day and night solutions. And then here I've got some oil-free makeup removers. Got a couple of those. Although my mom buys some of this from me, so I've gotta figure out what she wants. And here I have, these are all kinds of lipsticks and lip gloss. These are more colors and colors and more colors. I'm going to my shop to try to finish up the cell. And I'm taking a few pets with me too. This has to look really cool carrying this down the street with the four kids. While I'm working on my bell, Peter is playing Skittles. And the girls are going through the library and reading some books. I'm doing a puzzle book. Huh. You like that, Peter? I like your hat. <laughs> I'm feeling a tad bit frustrated at the moment. I keep trying to list the Mary Kay and the pictures will upload. So I'm restarting my computer right now and I hope this will work because once I get on the roll, the listings go really, really fast. That since I've done all the prep work, which is just taking the photos and everything, everything else goes really quickly. <sighs> Anyways, while I was working on all that, I had a phone call from one of my Watkins customers. I don't have that many Watkins customers, but this one gentleman and his wife call me every year, and I think we're at five years running every January for my chicken soup stock, and I am going in my nicely new organized pantry, and my soup mixes are right up there, and he needs two chicken. So I'm gonna see if I have, I think I have two for him, and I don't have to order. But it was funny, yesterday when I was in the bedroom going through some of my stuff, I was like, I haven't heard from them in a while. And I knew it was, they always call in January. And lo and behold, they called today. So, And I have exactly what he needs on hand, so that's perfect. And I'll just deliver that next time I go up to Saratoga. Really nice older couple. Absolutely love their soup mix. Said that it's the secret recipe his mom always used for their... Um, she was a chef somewhere, and that was the secret to her chicken soup. That was always a hot item on the menu. And he goes, don't tell anybody that's the secret. Although I suppose I just ruined it by telling you guys. So, Anyways, I'm going to run upstairs, put this on the piano so I don't forget that I need to deliver that. And I'll run upstairs and see if the computer's working again. <sighs> You know, technology, I have a love-hate relationship with technology. Sometimes I just wish it worked 100% all the time. And then I could just zip this on. Now, I mean, it's 11 o'clock. Grace is going to be getting up soon. And there, now I sound like an old bitty. All right, let's see if this is working. It didn't work. I restarted the computer and tried to upload the picture, and it's still not working, so it must be a glitch with eBay, and there's really nothing I can do about it, so that kind of puts my plans in a halt. But look who's up! Say good morning! No, she's busy watching her brother play Wii. He's playing Wii Star Wars because I told him if he finished all of his math, he could play, so it's his little bit of reward. There we go. Say hello! You only have 100 and what? I only have 170 steps in my wig. Alright, you gonna make it? I don't know, I, need, I think I might need your help. He needs my help. Me, playing video games? I have to admit, that's one side of me you don't know. Is when John first got this game, actually he got this a couple years ago, and I was pregnant, I was feeling so yucky. I spent an entire day playing 
the Wii, Wii Star Wars actually. Because I liked it. I like video games. I just don't, I rarely play them, but I do enjoy playing them once in a while. <laughs> we're trying for a second time to stop at the affordable antique place because they were closed yesterday. So we are, are nice and cozy in the vehicle at the moment. Yes, here's the bell right in between us. They're open. What? We are heading into the antique store. Hello. So there it is, and it, uh, okay, this bell is a little bigger than the original one that came with that, but it would probably work though, you could make it work. Daddy's checking to see if it is going, the, the phonograph machine, what is it called again? Phonograph? Phonograph. Phonograph like machine is going to work. Okay, so. Well, does it work? Well, you can make it work. You, yeah, know, you can actually just put you, a you can, piece uh, of tape, electrical yes. tape around it if it's a little air bit too Yeah, so I know I'm going to probably put some something in there. Yeah. Okay. That is a huge... You made that horn? No, I didn't make no. Let's go this way. Hey, see this phone here? This is a lot like the one I had in college. Someone lent me a phone. <laughs> it looked like that. Would you like to use one like that? That actually would be cool to buy. Yeah. Is that right? Aunt Laura eat this up. Yeah, I think she'd like that. It's antique. Dad, this is cool. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. What do you like, Lydia? What is that? It's a pan? Oh, the fart. Yes, we have one like that. Kind of like that. Yeah. And we have one of those jar holders. We have a lot of this Don't stuff. Don't you think Aunt Laura would eat this up? I think Aunt Laura would like this, yes. She would eat this up. She would. She would like this. My well, Grandpa Grandma Michigan would love this, too. Really? How could he get this uh -huh. much? How could he get this much? Oh, we have a lot of stuff, too. Look at this lion feet. Lion foot table? That's cool. We had one just like that with the lion feet when I was a kid. Daddy, come over here. Look at the furniture. Mm -hmm. really this is like what Grandma has, kind of. The makeup bench. Yeah. Wow. $99 for a china cabinet. That's cheap if you need one. This is what we need. Vintage pink flamingos. Janelle waited in the car with Mary and Charity and Grace because she, she didn't think they could make it without breaking anything. There's a lot of stuff in there. Daddy is working on the, the light. This is to help Mommy make better cooking videos. That's loud. Yes, the loud. There's the light. In theory, when I flip the switch, it should go on. Let's see. It doesn't go on. I wonder what's wrong. I forgot to hook something up. Now this time it should work. It works. Here she comes wow, to check bright. out her new light. You like it? I can't even look at it so bright. We're checking out our lighting. It looks terrible with all the shadows. Look at those um, black rings around the eyes. Got... <laughs> so we just need a light over there pointing yes. this direction. We have to do something. She helps with my chores. Throw it in. Is there any more? No. Okay. Here. Close the door. Nope. Oh, gotta push it harder. Okay. And okay, here we go. Hold the green button. Right here. This one. Okay, good helper. What do you see in there? Is Baba getting dry? Yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you for your help. You're a good helper. 